Now this is an 850 Volvo with the dash removed, some other parts removed at the wrecker. Here is the heating system, which can be a real pain in my particular car. This piece somehow is disconnected or not aligned. So then I got no defrost here. And then it also seems to affect the uh, foot um, actuator. There's five actuators in the uh, some of these Volvo 850s with electronic uh, climate controls. Thankfully all the actuators are the same, but how they engage are a little bit different depending on the location. Here there's a funny little half gear system. Um, on this side here, down there, there's actually a little shaft that comes out to control the foot uh, or the face controls. Well, basically opens up a duct for the feet. So on mine, that little shaft is split. So even the, if the actuator is good, it's split in there. So that's a pain. And over here on the recirculation actuator, uh, there's a little arm there that comes through and connects to the actuator. And it can basically controls the in and out of the um, fresh air through the um, cooling heating system. So it is a royal pain if you need to actually work on this side here to get this actuator. The, basically the dash has to come out to get even access to it. It's hard to see on mine, but there's actually a big uh, heat pipe that goes for the uh, driver's side window vent here. It goes all over top of this and engages with this um, gasket here, so it covers all of this. So even with the dash clutched or removed, it's not something you can easily get to. And it's a big job to remove the dash. You can see here these, uh, these holes here, that's the top part of the dash. And these actually go, are bolts that come through from the firewall side. So you need to remove the cowling on top and the wiper system to get to some of these bolts. It's a, it's a big job. So plan on a couple days I read to do this. I'm using this junkyard one to kind of learn the mistakes as I go. And then we'll figure out, and I also need some pieces. I don't want to take mine apart and not have all these pieces here. So certainly is a, a big challenging do job but it is doable so but the plastic is very brittle so be careful um, Volvo unfortunately used very um, I don't know, brittle plastic or plastic did not age well so it's very easy to break these flaps or other flaps in the cooling system or these little shafts that come out here to the actuators so and then once the actuators are broken, like the shafts to the actuators are broken or misaligned, the system gets confused and then it's, you, you know, only parts of the cooling system work, so it become quite annoying. In domestics and some other cars, when something in the cooling system fails, it usually defaults to defrost. And in my case, it did not. It defaulted to vent or the face position, so it's not the most safe position. I can kind of force... Um, a bit of air through the defrost by closing all the vents manually but even then it's not the best i'm in the west coast so snow and frost on the windshield is not a super big deal but if i was somewhere else odds are that my car would have been written off because this is an ugly job to pay someone to do to have a mechanic spend you know whatever book value 12 hours to rip this dash apart and put it back together and odds are there's going to be something not quite right when they put it back together again or pieces are going to break while they do it so I can see why these cars just end up in the wrecking yards if their uh, cooling systems have some sort of failure that you can't access through the glove box. Thankfully though, three of the actuators you can't actuate uh, access through the glove box once the glove box interior is pulled out. This uh, recirculating one, this one here for um, that has a shaft exposed, there's one there that controls the foot damper and then in the back there there's another one that controls the uh, heat and cold blend for the passenger side. There's an equivalent one on the driver's side which I think would be very difficult to access and I suspect yeah there it is down there. So that these ones in the back they control uh, how the heat and the cold are, are, are you know blended in so yeah they're very difficult to reach. I'm a big guy. Getting underneath these dashes and trying to work from underneath is not easy, so I imagine maybe there's people that can reach that, but I think odds are it, it will be a tough job.